back to school authority. Yes, we are going to be heading back. And as we inch closer and closer to that first day of school, how prepared are you when it comes to packing those school lunches? I know it's the chore a lot of parents don't love. And how do you accommodate the picky eaters in your life? Believe it or not, it's something that even award-winning chefs struggle with as well. And Chief David Standridge of the Shipwright's Daughter and Mystic shared some great ideas that can help us all with Channel 3's Nicole Nalepa. Picky eaters. It's a topic so many parents can relate to, including James Beard award-winning chef David Standridge of the Shipwright's Daughter in Mystic. I know no one else out there has picky children, oh, but I have no. some very picky children. As a dad of two, not only is he going through this, but he Feel was better. that kid is once upon a time. I was a kid. I don't think I ate a vegetable until I was 25. Get out. And now I'm a chef. Wow. So there's hope for for all of these children. Uh, there is hope, and there's hope for you too when it comes to what to pack in your children's lunch boxes. The trick is to find a food or snack your kids already love, like granola bars, for example. Find a balance when it comes to ingredients and get your kids involved in the process, as Chef David and his kids demonstrated for me with this no-bake granola bar recipe. Children, And so this one is a really simple recipe you can make that allows them to kind of customize it so that they can decide what they want and they'll actually maybe eat it. Mm -hmm. Um, and you can make the base pretty healthy. All you need is a food processor, a sheet pan, some parchment paper. Two cups of oats, maybe a little bit more. Okay. Um, a cup of dates that have been pitted. Ooh. And then we're going to do about a quarter cup of any kind of nut butter you want. Okay. Um, a lot of schools don't allow peanut butter, so um, this is sun butter. Okay. Right. If you. Uh, That's a nice alternative. Don't worry, you'll, you'll be fine. Why do you have to use sun butter? <laughs> well, I have to because it makes the granola bars stick together. And then we need to make it a little sweet. And for this one, we're gonna use maple syrup, about a quarter cup of maple syrup. Okay. And then I always try to put a little bit of molasses in things. Molasses Ooh. is actually the healthiest sweetener. It's got a lot of magnesium, it's got a lot of potassium. Really? So like if you can sub out some molasses, you're doing yourself a favor. Now onto the healthy ingredients that are easy to conceal. And then we're going to put some nuts in here. I'm using cashews. You can use almonds, walnuts, whatever. One of the reasons I use cashews is because, Robert, do you like nuts? No. Can't see cashews. That's why. <laughs> and this is actually a little bit of hemp seed. Ooh. That's a secret healthy thing. And um, it's another sneaky thing you can put in things because they don't have a color. They don't really have a flavor. And, um, you know, your kids don't know they're there. Next, it's time to blend up the base into a Play-Doh consistency. Mm -hmm. What do you think, guys? Does that look like a granola bar in there? No. And here's the Not part where your kids can bit. really get involved. Chef David set up dishes of dried fruit, nuts, banana chips, chocolate chips, M&Ms, and other items that his kids could choose to put in. So let's see if we can get this all mixed. Can I help you? I'll just push it all together. And I'm going to get one more piece. That's exactly good right. Good job. We'll let this press. Okay. And then we'll come back and cut it later. All right. That sounds good. Do you have to put it in the refrigerator or anything? You can refrigerate it overnight. Yeah. That kind of helps it um, set up. But mostly okay. what you want is for the oats to absorb the liquid. Got and when it's ready to cut, it's ready to eat. How's it taste? Good? Oh, two thumbs up. We like those. Nice. No bake granola bar. Super easy. Like sort of healthy. And, <laughs> and you, well, it's a nice balance. Mm -hmm. And I think that that's like kind of the, the name of the game here is yeah. balance as much as possible, For right? Sure. If you could sneak in some good things, all the better. Yep. It's going to have some other fun things that, you know, it's, yeah. it's all good. You Everything give in moderation. A little, <laughs> so, so. Give a little to get a little. <laughs> exactly. Oh, yes. Yeah. Channel 3 Eyewitness all News. Right. I'm Nicole Nalepa. All right, well, before the school year starts, we are asking Connecticut teachers to send us your wish list. We want to help. We know so many of you use your own money to buy supplies, and we want to help with that. So you can send us a link to your wish list right on the Channel 3 WFSB app or on WFSB.com. We're going to post your list starting next week so that our viewers can help clear those lists.